What's up everyone, the Classic Gaming Dude here, and today I'm going to show all of you how to get the best NES emulator for your iDevice, such as an I iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. And um, a jailbreak is going to be required for this, so I'll, I'll leave a video link in the description below. It's a very simple process, just follow whoever made the video. So anyways, once you jailbreak, um, hold on, sorry about that, it's outside big fucking truck so uh, once you jailbreak you're going to go to Cydia and um, you're going to need a computer for this if which I I'm guessing most of you do so um, yeah once you're on Cydia you want to go to manage and hit sources uh, excuse the lagginess of I've demo if it's going a little slow on my screen that's because I'm recording it and it's kinda like that with the, my internet connection but anyways when you go to sources you know you don't see the old ones here and you wanna hit edit add and add Cydia dot x Solice. I think it has two L's, I'm not sure, dot com, and add that source. Yeah, it has two L's. Well, anyways, I'll just leave it in the description below. So once you add that, you want to tap on it. And um, you're going to scroll down to the ends. And keep scrolling down. Don't go too fast because you're probably not going to find it. So just, you know, scroll down until you see... Not NES and not NES ADX Plus. Don't use those. I found out that I don't know that I just don't like them. For well, I'm sorry, but for NES ADX Plus, I realized that the audio quality is bad. It it's kind of fast. Like I don't know. Oh, well, I'm using a iPod 4G. Well, anyways, you're gonna see NES.EMU. The one I have checked on my screen. Yes, you wanna click on that. And except for modify, it's going to say install, so just install that. And that is your emulator. As you can see right there, it's nes.emu. So uh, if you click on it, whoops. <laughs> yeah, I was playing some Zelda. Um, you know, you're gonna, oh my god, you're gonna be at this screen, but the game is not gonna be on the background. So you click load game. And there's not going to be any games here. Well, I'll show you how to do that, everyone. So, with your iPod, you're going to have to install two more things on Cydia. So, go back. Okay. Once you're on Cydia, you want to go to search. For uh, these two downloads, I don't, I don't believe you're going to need to uh, add any sources. So, um, yeah, I want you go to search and type in SB settings. Whoops, I forgot T. Sorry about that, everyone. Just put a T right there. All right, SB settings. And the first one that, that's on the screen, the one I have checked on my screen, just click on that. Well, yours, of course, isn't going to be checked, but just for you to find it easier. So, um... It's, it, once again, it's, it, instead of modify, it's going to say install, so just install that. And um, once you install that, you're going to need to install one more thing on your iDevice. I so I'll go back to search, and this time type in open SSH. It doesn't matter if it's all lowercase or capitalized. The only one you'll see there is the one on the screen, so just click on that. And of course, I just said it. Mod instead of modify, it's going to say install. So just install that. And technically, you're done with your iDevice, but um, you're going to need to remember th remember this. On the top of your iDevice, around right here where my cursor is, just scroll to the right, and this will happen. You'll get this menu. That's SB settings, and you're going to remember this. You're going to need to remember this. Wi-Fi IP address, right here going to remember that so um either keep the screen like the way I just had it or write it down on a piece of paper whatever the fuck you want to do so um I guess we're done with our iDevice now you can just 
you know, just leave it the way it is now. So you're going to need to install these two programs I have highlighted, WinSCP and WinRAR. Uh, I'll leave both of them in the description below. Well, you're going to... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show you guys a good ROM website. It's called FreeRoms.com. And they have a bunch of ROMs for mostly any any emulator. But you're going to click on NES, because that's what I'm showing you. And uh, let's say you want to download uh, Ice Climber. Let's say you want to download that. Uh-oh. Can't play that. It's just vote. Alright, forget that. Let's see, let's just go to N. Let's see who's on the N's. Let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't know. I'm sorry, I just want to see a good game for me to show. Let's see. La 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 um, Silver Surfer Zip right there, and those are the book i. That's the book icon that has WinRAR. So go to your downloads. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, right here, Silver Surfer. Either drag it to your desktop or just leave it there. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Are you fucking serious? Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on. My computer's just being a real pain in the ass now. No, I don't... Ugh, fuck. Alright, just open it. It's a fucking computer. Alright, so, um, you open it, and of course it's not opening. Well, anyways, I'm sorry about that long delay. Go to WinSCP. Once you install it. Okay, so a surfer opened. Alright, just open up WinSCP. And, of course, iDemo's blocking it. And this is going to show up. And instead of host name, um, for host name, you're going to go back to your iDevice. And, um, oh my god, so many fucking trucks outside. And just, like I said, scroll on the top of your screen. Whoops. And um, get this page to pop up. And remember I said, remember your Wi-Fi address. Mine's is 192.8. 168.1.6 leave the port number at 22 username is going to be all lowercase root and password is going to be alpine I'll leave all, I'll leave these two in the description below so you can just copy and paste and once you have this leave this all the same and just press login it's going to say connecting the host and all that give it a few seconds and this is going to show up so once this is on, um, this is your iPod on this side, is your just regular computer. And you're going to, up here, private var root, just highlight private and var and then click. And you're going to see all this. And uh, what you want to click now is you want to go to mobile, media, and um, you're probably not going to see ROMs there, but it's easy, just right click. And go to new f directory and just name it all capital ROM and then lowercase s and just press and hit OK. Since I already have it, it's alright. And once you enter ROMs, you're not going to see anything here. So once again, just go, just right click new directory and t all capital NES. And just, I already have it. So once you open that, of course, it's not going to be any games here. So, um, very easy to just, it's just, you know, copy and paste in there. So, uh, where's Silver Surfer? Hmm. Here it is. Um, don't extract the whole file, the whole, um, WinRAR document. Just this one right here, SilverSurfer.nes. Just click, left click, and just drag it into there. And hit copy. And give it a few seconds. And that's it. You're mostly done. And, um... 
That's it, I guess. Yeah. So terminate. Yes. Goodbye. Uh, and go back to your iDevice and see if it worked, which I'm pretty sure it did. NES. And uh, let's see. Load game. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Let me teach you something. When you click load game, you're probably gonna, you know, see um, this screen. It's mostly the same thing as on the computer. You're gonna go to mobile, right there. Then media, and then look for ROMs. Then NES, and all these games are gonna be here. So let's look for Silver Surfer, and there it is. And that's mostly it, everybody. So, uh, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, same thing, what the fuck is wrong with me? So, just give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. And um, if it helped you, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, bye.